Hey guys, it's Piggy Pussy Gang 77 here with a little bit of a commentary video on a situation that I'm pretty sure all of you guys have been well acquainted with. I was having an inner battle with myself on whether or not I should post a video with my commentary on this whole Logan Paul situation. However, I think this video is going to be a little bit different in that I'm not going to bash Logan Paul. I don't think anything is his fault. Yeah, he may act like an immature jackass with very little respect for anyone that he happens to come in contact with. However, even him being King Douchebag pales in comparison to the real problem, and that are the low gang. Now, for those of you guys that are above the age of 15, have gone through puberty, and have developed cognitive function, you guys probably don't know what the low gang is. The low gang is a group of people that follow Logan Paul and everything he does, from buying the merch to watching each and every single one of his cringe vlogs, usually under the age of 13, but almost always prepubescent. Now, don't get me wrong, I don't have anything against 13-year-olds or even 12-year-olds. I myself have known a couple really funny 13 year olds in my time. However, the group that gravitate towards Logan Paul's content is the absolute cancer of YouTube. One of the best ways to find this is by going to your local YouTube content aggregator and searching up whatever topic you want. However, instead of filtering it based on popularity or view count, you go to upload date. So you see the latest cream of the crop. So let's take a look at one of these videos. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just freaking trying to be Logan Paul, but you freaking stupid ass fucking haters are fucking going out if there. If he ends his career because of you, guess what's gonna happen? You all are gonna fucking die. Jo uh, don't judge me. If you all end his career, you all are going to fucking die. That sounds like terrorism to me. That girl should be persecuted under the fullest extent of the law. So again, it's these types of people that I have the problem with, not Logan Paul himself. Logan Paul is just taking advantage of the wave of stupidity, the golden ratio of autism that happens to follow him. Let's look at another video here that says, I love Logan Paul. K-Y-S if you hate Logan Paul. Seriously. Let's take a look at this. Well, I do apologize immensely for playing that video in its entirety. It's still to illustrate a point as to not blaming Logan Paul and blaming the so-called low gang of people that follow him. You see, what's going to happen is a uh, circle of shit. Logan Paul has put himself in a position where he could literally do anything and he's still going to have a massive group of supporters that are going to defend his every move. He could step outside of his house with a shotgun and shoot the nearest elderly lady right in the face. And you'll have people putting up videos saying, no, Logan Paul did the right thing. She was going to die anyways. I just need to say all those people that are hating on Logan Paul. We're human. I eat, drink, sleep, and do everything that a human should. And so is Logan. I'm proud to be in a Logan. And he's human. He makes mistakes. And part one person that doesn't make mistakes. And the only person he is, is that Spock. Logan is a human being. See, here's the argument that you're going to hear more often than not, in that Logan Paul is a human and we are all human and therefore entitled to make mistakes. What they do fail to realize is that Logan Paul is influencing millions and millions of 13 year olds just like these to think that it is okay to act like a complete and utter autist in public. I was actually reluctant to use the word autism there comparing Logan Paul to actual people with autism because they at least don't have an option. They don't have a choice. Logan Paul does have a choice and he chooses to act like a complete ass dick in public. Logan Paul is socially retarded. You can almost compare him to a furry going to Walmart and getting his groceries. You wonder if the furry cares that he looks like a complete and utter retard in public. So my issue with Logan Paul is not actually with Logan Paul itself. It's what Logan Paul represents. Logan Paul represents millions and millions of brain dead teenagers thinking that it's okay to act the way he does in public. And this scares me for the future generation. Could you imagine this generation of doctors, lawyers, and pilots? 20 years from now, these people that are defending Logan Paul are going to be the ones piloting your plane. Think about that. You need a bypass surgery? Well, you better hope that that Maverick branded scalpel is going to be enough to do the job. Could you imagine getting accused of a crime you didn't commit, hiring a lawyer, and in the courtroom, the lawyer is dabbing on the judge for being a quote-unquote hater. This is the future of the low gang people. We need to take care of this problem before it gets big. This is why I think you should share this video. I myself might not be enough to convince all these kids, but together, we can do anything. Hashtag and low gang. We could do it, guys. So that's the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's kind of my opinion on this whole situation. Really, I think we're all fucked. I'm going to go figure out different ways to subscribe to low gang for life.
Yeah. <laughs>